know that purchasing clothing is actually the last step of the shopping process? Yep, you heard it right. Many times people assume that to shop for new clothing, you first have to buy the clothing. But in my opinion, that's not an effective way to do it. Keep watching until the end of this video to learn what I believe is the right way to shop. boss i'm tony the personal stylist and founder of allthingstony.com where i help women like you to discover develop and enhance your personal style so you realize you need something to wear and the first thing you do is run into the store to shop then all of a sudden you're hit with all of these emotions you're feeling overwhelmed you're feeling stressed and frustrated that is because the first thing you did was ran into the store trying to buy some new things but you didn't make a plan shopping does not need to be stressful there are plenty of other things in life that we could worry about let's not make shopping one of them if you've ever felt overwhelmed when shopping then watch this video till the end there's a free guide below on how to shop like a stylist and I'll be teaching you how to use it the number one solution to stressful shopping is to make a plan I've covered each step of how you can make your plan in the how to shop like a stylist series if you haven't had a chance to watch the previous videos then the link will be below where you're watching this video once you go through each of the first five steps, determining your personal style, gathering style inspiration, cleaning your closet, making a shopping list, and setting a budget. Then comes the last step shopping. The items you shop will depend on the season you're currently in and your shopping list from step four. If you're in the beginning of spring, then you're going to want to shop spring slash summer items. But if you're at the end of the summer, then you're going to want to shop fall slash winter items and vice versa. You're going to want to start with shopping for the essential items you need for that season. Remember, essential items are the pieces you need to build your outfit. You can check out step three, the closet cleanse, where I explain more about essential pieces and why they're important to your wardrobe. Allow the two lists you put together from step one to guide you so that you know what items to purchase and what items not to purchase. By following all of the steps throughout this process, shopping will become so much easier. You'll begin to instantly learn what pieces to buy for your personal style. And if you ever start to feel overwhelmed again when shopping, start back at step one of the process. Don't forget to pick up your free guide on how to shop like a stylist below where you're watching this video. Video. subscribe to the blog for more freebies and updates if you enjoyed this series and it was helpful to you be sure to share it with a friend thanks for watching have a lovely day